Hi guys, and welcome back to Fatal Frame 3. First things first, on the realist. And second thing, uh, we need to answer that phone. Yes, Kurosawa speaking. Miko? Okay. Let me out. Oh my god, there's another call. Hello? This is Salakor. Ah. Oh. Did you have that dream again today? Yes. I see. I think we should go check out that abandoned house one more time. We might be able to find something out. I'll look over the local legends and stories and bring what I have with me. Just what happened in that manor. Books describe it as an engraving shrine. Maybe if we combine the information we have, something might come to light. Yes, well... Gosh darn it, it's freaking skipping again. Alright, let's look at the camera, since I do have enough to do something. I could do range. Next, spirit power. I'll do range. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I changed something in the audio. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get my audio to not freaking skip, because I've tried, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk to Miku. Wait a second. No, I can't yet. I can't. I need to develop this film, and then I need to talk to Miku and give it to Miku. What was that? I heard something. It kind of sounded like a chair moving across the floor or something like that. I'm sure it was just like a spooky sound. Sep. Hello? You're just gonna ignore the bloody handprints? Hey! All right, bloody handprints, normal. Normal occurrence in this household. Okay, perfect. An image has appeared of a woman hiding in a closet. It looks like the crawling woman. I wonder if I can find out anything from this photo. This looks like the pedestal with the rope winding device Miku saw in her dream. What could it possibly be used for? Alright, here we go. Mickey's foot transforms and it's gone. Ray? Here. Here you go, Ray. I thought this festival was similar to that ceremony like photo with the twins. Twin deification. Deification? Some of the villages in the mountain region practice a folk religion rite that defies. De die deifies, deifies twins born in the village as priestesses. It is called the twin ceremony. When twins born in the village reach a certain age, most commonly 15 years, they are dressed in white. Then, as priestesses, they are joined by a red cord and conduct a seance. This red cord is said to represent the twins as one person, and in the region it is custom to believe that when twins become one, they have the power of the gods. This rite is supposed to protect the village from calamity, and it is also supposed to bless them with a bountiful harvest. Oh, I'm sorry. I blanked out for a second. Okay. 
I do that all the time. It's raining again. It always do be raining. Oh. I'm sorry. Did you need something? Yes. I see, but... Ray, I'm a little nervous. A little nervous? All I can think about is the past. Like, back when I was a child. Oh, I'm sorry. I blanked out for a second. That's fine. I also have another photo. Lately, all I can think about is the past. Like, back when I was a child. Miku, please. Lately, all I can think about is the past. Like, back when I was a child. Okay, Miku won't let us, uh... Give her the other photo for some reason. I have not seen the cat around. Where's the cat? You know what I mean? Let's check you's room. Ah, there's a notebook that says the manner of sleep in the drawer. Perhaps it could be useful for something. The Manor of Sleep is an urban legend that was whispered among those in psychiatry about hospitalized patients suddenly disappearing. There are several stages to it, and it progresses like a sickness. One, having the same dream. The patients who later go missing first see the same dream every day, usually about dead lovers or family. Dreaming of the Manor, number two. Next, the patients dream about wandering into a large manor. It is a huge, snowy, Japanese-style house. It is laid out haphazardly, as though many extensions were added. Then, deep in the manor, one discovers their dearly departed. 3. Proceeding deeper into the manor. Patients follow the dead deeper into the manor. Most patients find some scenes and phenomena along the way. For example, hearing a lullaby, seeing a masked funeral march, or being pursued by a tattoo woman. Four, hallucinations while awake. At this stage, the patient complains of abnormalities of the body while awake. The symptoms are common to all patients, and when they wake, they feel a sharp pain and see a glo bla growing blue bruise or snake-like tattoo. Uh, number five, decrease in waking hours. At this stage, the patient's response to an external stimulation grows weaker. The time spent in sleep also slowly increases. From a medical viewpoint, this is a defensive reaction to pain, so if the patients are actually in pain, it is a normal response. Number six, missing, vanishing. Then one to two months after the first stage, the patient goes missing. Missing is the official term. It is said the patient actually vanishes, leaving only a black, soot-like mark. The above mentioned is the original The Manor of Sleep Urgent er Urban legend, but the popular legend is more story-like and includes the following elements. 1. Strong feelings for the dead summon the first nightmare. 2. Once you follow the deceased in the dream, you can no longer return. 3. If the sleeping person dreams of a lover or friend, it will beckon that person into sleep. The manner of sleep disease spreads thusly. 4. Deep in the manner of sleep is the world of the dead, and if you make it, you can meet the deceased there. If you pursue the dead, you will not be able to return. Even if I knew that, I... Hmm... That's not good. Oh, the words the rope priestess can be found among the books. Perhaps it has something to do with the woman bound in rope in Miku's dream. The rope priestess. In my visit to the Himuro area in the five pedestal shrine that protects the five deity near, I was able to pursue fascinating old texts on the Himuro area, area, area legend about the gates to the underworld. From these texts, it was clear the apocryphal, apocryph, apocryph, apocryphal gates of the underworld ceremony was held in this area. Following its vocabulary, I garnered through my research this time. Ceremony of the Ropes. The Ceremony of the Ropes is held to close the gates, i.e. the gates of the underworld, and a special rope, the Laceration Rope, is used. The Laceration Rope is a special rope used to close the gates. 
It was also written that it is used to stay the priestess's power. The rope priestess, in a certain document, there is a diagram of a female with arms, legs, and neck bound by rope. Perhaps she is the rope priestess, and the five ropes are the laceration rope. The strangling ritual blinds, uh, binds the priestess with ropes, pull them to the five gods, create thereby the laceration rope to perform the rite. Here the five gods may signify the directions of the five shrines on which the Himero mansion is centered. Pulling the rope that binds the priestess in five directions must create the laceration rope. If the rope binding the priestess is truly used as a laceration rope, is the rope priestess then a sort of human sacrifice? I hope to visit the Himero mansion in the near future and unravel the tale of the gates of the underworld as well as that of the rope priestess. Okay. The Himero Mansion. The house in Miku's dream was different from mine. In a folklore book in Yu's room, I found an article about the room that came out on the photo. According to a folklorist named Ryozo Munakata, a ritual took place there to seal the gates of the underworld, using shrine maidens called Rope Priestess. Okay, and that was it for Yu's room. So my save said we're on night 12. And I think there's only 13. Are we gonna be K? Because that seems like K. That seems like rooms I've been in before mostly is K! Our X, the piercing of soul. Uh, that's either 12 or 13. And if it's 13, then that's the last hour, I think. Um. I don't know where I should go. Ah! Why did that scare me so bad? I guess follow the ghosts. I want to see about the, uh... Oh, I hear her crying. I want to see about the tree, though, as well. The, the door near the tree. The shrine. The shrine as Ray that we, uh, opened. Uh, I want to see... <laughs> we have 113 points. I was going to see if I could do anything, but we cannot with that many points. Now, I don't have a lot of health. I don't have a lot of health, I don't think it's K, because I... Oh my goodness, I have nine herbal medicines. That's freaking awesome. I can't say that word. Oh no, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> Wait, why is... Why are the kimonos like that? Oh no. Oh, come on. Please don't do that. Do I need to battle you? Oh, it's Dolphin Lady? Is that who you are? Oh, I can actually fight her. That's so great. Oh, okay, at least Kay has the defensive shot. That was a good picture. That was too. Where are you? Where are you? You said you would come back. Okay, I didn't say- AHHHHH! <laughs> when she throws her frickin' weave at you. That was the scariest weave I've ever seen. Oh man, you've got to stop doing that. You're gonna throw your weave at me again? Oh yeah, she is. Ah, no. Where did you go? You're so good at hiding. Oh my god, the weave! It's in the weaving. Ah! They're hating. Man! I can't with the disappearing ghosts. It's too hard. Ugh! The weave! Are you kidding me? Show yourself! Show yourself! There we go. That's a good photo. Please don't 
Don't disappear. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. No. <sighs> Smile for the camera. The way you for force. <laughs> Yes, dolphin. Oh, that was so good. That was a really good photo. You finally came. You finally came. There's something shiny on the floor. The dianthus key. I know where that freaking goes. I know where that goes. Hold on, is there anything I need to do up here? I don't think so. I want to move those shelves as K that I can move before I before I end this part if I can because that would help Ray and Miku get to places probably. I used the Dianthus K. Perfect. Oh, it's a big well? I don't like that. That's awful. Maybe just something's been caught on the foot. It's just this lady looking down the well. She's just like, well, well, well. Oh, okay, it's a stone mirror. The floor of the room is broken, revealing the open mouth of an old well. The wind whistling up from the well sounds like someone or something crying. At my feet, a sacred boundary rope surrounds the wall. Maybe this well has some kind of special significance. It's too dark for me to see down to the bottom, but occasionally I can hear the sound of the wind, like the distant scream of a crying child. Get out of there. Absolutely not. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Maybe we can go to that shrine now that Ray has uh, opened it. I really, really hope so. Because I've been wanting to go there. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. I don't know you. <laughs> You're just falling on the floor. I don't even think she was uh, an enemy. I think it was just a photo we were supposed to take. Please? Please? Yes! 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 What is this? The air is so heavy. It's like some sort of miasma. I can feel something odd in the air around me. That which lies sealed within the manner of sleep. That which which lies on the other side of the rift. What could possibly be inside here? I've got to do something about this miasma. The explanation of the purifying light has been added to files. Really? I don't- these are notes, not files. Let me go to my files. I wish the game would just tell me and then put it in my files. You know what I mean? Here it is, the purifying light. Purifying light, when your condition becomes miasmatic, when the colors become monochrome, even more dangerous ghosts will be attracted to you. If you can get the purifying light, your condition will turn to normal while it's lit. So it's like a candle? Purifying light. If you can find the purifying light scattered about the manor, you can replenish your light. However, you cannot stock up on the light. If you go back to the real world, it will be fully replenished. Huh. Okay. Uh, I need to look for, like, a blue candle, basically. I don't know where I would find that. Look at that! Oh, I'm missing it. No, I missed it. Ugh, I wish I could have taken a photo. Super gray. The door is shut firmly from the other side. There has to be another way in. Dang it. Okay, so I can't... I open one door just to get another door. 
Oh, wait, there's a blue thing over there. I can explore this area, though. I didn't realize that. Let me get this blue thing. Awesome. Definitely need that. Herbal medicine. Uh... This, like, wreckage over here. Oh! An image of something has been caught on the photo. It's like a child or something. Huh. There's like a spring over here. Is that a bridge? Oh, it certainly looks like a bridge, huh? I wonder if I can... If I can go to the side. Can I not? No, I can't. Maybe the other way to get to it is to go on the roof, because we did just see that ghost on the roof. Oh, look at this over here! There's a freaking door! I would have never, ever guessed that there was more to this than just that one door. A thick bar holds the door to the storehouse like building closed. Oh, I was just thinking, can't we remove it? It's on our side. It was like that in Kuon, like the bar was on our side, but we never removed it. I'm glad that Fatal Frame decided to make sense. Let's go through this freaking door. And I really need to find that purifying light. Oh, is this where the stairs are? Looks like it. The broken stairs? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can't actually go up these stairs, right? Yeah. Huh, okay, so that's where that door leads. Interesting. Oh, it's so incredibly gray. I wonder where the purifying light could be. Oh, I totally missed it. Oh, there's a blue thing over there suddenly. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I got the pinwheel key! Okay, perfect. So that's gonna be the one that I couldn't get to before, which is awesome. I really wanted to do that one, but it <laughs> didn't let me. Wow, it's so gray. Uh, let me think. It was... Oh, okay. I guess I'll follow the butterfly, right? Oh, please. There we go. Oh my god, please. Where? I don't know where it was. It said kill me, though. I'm just gonna go ahead and... go up here. I'm pretty sure this is where the pinwheel key is. And this is where we, I think, first saw the set of twins in the photo. Oh my gosh, turn back around. No! <sighs> Pain! Can't believe I I literally turned around as soon as I got there. Ooh, god, the mummy guy's there. That's not great. It's so hard to see anything. Okay, cool. We got the pinwheel in, and now I just have to figure the puzzle out. Hold on. Two reds, one blue, and one yellow. I did it! Yeah, there's the sound of the door being unlocked. And there's a picture to be taken. Where? Where? Oh my gosh, we're finally above. Oh, I don't know where this picture is, though. Maybe it's upstairs. Oh, 
frick. That's scary. There it is, right? Help me. Okay, we got an image. Purifying light. There's something on the cloth spread out on the floor. It looks like a candle. Oh, thank goodness. We needed that. This happened over there. Oh good, we're back to normal. I can see things. Wow, type 90 film. Dang, okay. Cool, um, is this gonna put me on the roof of the shrine? Ah, what did I say? That's cool. I actually got a photo. I'm not having too bad of a time being K right now. Which might be blasphemous to say, but... I can see the roof of a shrine-like building on the other side. It's a little far, but if I don't think about the height, I could probably jump across. Oh my god, really? Can you really do it? There's no way. <gasps> Look at Kay being a freaking manly badass hero. Oh, this is really cool. I didn't expect to be on a huge roof following a ghost. Oh, what? What is it? What is it? I missed it. It's weird because I, I get that all the time. Like, my filament will react, but I won't actually see anything on the screen at all. And the game kind of just expects me to know where to point my camera. Like, <laughs> I don't know if that gives it replayability to try to find those things, but I can't find them. Okay, awesome. Go in, go in, go in. This is the frickin' shrine I've been trying to get to forever. Film Abyss. Okay, we gotta film. I hear chanting. Oh my gosh, we got more 90 film! I guess this is night like 12 or 13, one of the last ones, right? I see a blue thing over there. Oh my gosh, what is it? What is it? See what I mean? Oh, I guess this, this isn't going away though. It must be down there, right? Oh. I need to find a way to get to the, uh, blue things. I'm gonna get all the blue things. This is fun. This is fun. This is the best time I've had being K. I haven't struggled too badly with anything. Oh, that's a stone mirror. Okay. Lots of stone mirrors for K, huh? I guess that makes sense, because he's kind of the most defenseless. Oh, that's being blocked, so I actually need to go this way. There's also a photo I need to take, I'm just not quite sure... ...where? Oh. Just trying to impale the priestess. So that's the priestess room. Is that what I need to take a picture of? Because I can't really. Like I'm being blocked by this wood. Maybe once I get across I can. We'll see. There we go, blue thing. Oh, wait a second. Oh yeah! More purifying light, that's great. Huh. I guess since there's a ladder there, we're gonna go down and then I should be able to take whatever the photo is. Oh good, sacred water! Perfect. Oh, I'm finally getting somewhere. I'm really excited about it. Yes.
Would have never awakened from her dreams. My filament went away. Maybe I was supposed to take a picture up there, but I don't know what, like, of what. Because I looked and I just couldn't. Anyway. They're gone. They're gone now. On top of the platform is a cloth stuck with needles. Could that be a body under the cloth? I hope not. A book is uh, on the altar. On the spine is written, Piercing of the Soul. It must refer to some ceremony that took place here. Piercing the Soul Tome. If the feelings of loss for those who cross to the other side begin to spill into dreams, they shall bring great trouble into this world. Those feelings of loss must be etched into the priestess as tattoos in the piercing of the soul. Okay. Interesting. The tattooed priestess who has been engraved with the pain shall then bear that pain into her sleep and calm the troubles of this world. The altar is arranged with braziers and other equipment used in esoteric Buddhist rituals. In the center lays a pedestal meant to hold a round plate of some sort. There is a small engraving on it. Offer up the mirror etched with the holly of the priestess. Perhaps you can fit something into this pedestal. Ah! What the freaking heck? No. Don't gang up on Kay, that's frickin' rude! Get her, get her, Kay, no, 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 no. What the heck? Where are they? Oh my god. Double shot. Come at me. Ah! Oh, just in the nick of ah! mm. Again. Yes, yes. Stay in the frame. Stay in the frame. Get her, Kay. I'm doing it. It's taking a while, but I'm doing it. I should probably try using good film. Where are you? Okay. Ah! Ah! I will not be bullied. Ah! Got one. Pretty sure there's still one more. Yes, sir. Is. <laughs> oh. Hello? She moved. Behind me. Get her. Yeah! Hope that was okay. Catch my drift. There's a blue thing in there, and I want it! Hold on, what did it say? I tried to open the screen, but it is held fast, and there's no way I can get it to budge. Inside the screen is what looks like a stone bed. At the other end, I can see a door that leads further into the shrine. Okay, so I'm guessing I need whatever this is. <sighs> Pedestals. Offer up the mirror etched with the holly of the priestess. So I need to find... The Holly of the Priestess. Nothing over here, huh? Okay, well. Let's see where this door goes, I guess. Hey, we opened it. We actually did it. Are we waking up? <laughs> I'm waking up. On my skin, I'm getting tattooed again. At least it wasn't that bad. 
B and K, yeah. Well, at least it wasn't that bad. B and K, yeah. Okay. The hidden, the hidden shrine. The area around the sealed shrine was full of evil air. Now that the door is open, the air has escaped and entered the manor. Oh no. The seal has been broken and there is no turning back now. Carved into the altar inside the shrine are the words Offer up the mirror etched with the holly of the priestess. So I think we need to find that holly key and maybe the mirror will be in the uh, the Kodo weave woman's little dresser. Because our whole room theme is holly. Anyways, I'm gonna end that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I am gonna end that part there, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I need to sneeze. It wasn't so bad being K this time, and in the next part. <laughs> in the next part, hopefully, we find that holly mirror.